you, Mother? I wash my hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Uh, let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! I can't believe it. I've been buried alive. Again! Hey, my hand is back. Uh-oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, pig knuckles. I just polished that too. Run, kids. He's got plenty of money in there. Well, I'll just take a little. What am I thirsty for? Hey, it may change for me. Here you are, two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I... Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. New arrival! Hey! Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture! Uh, no thanks. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on ya. Indeed, you are broke. Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine. Just stay out of my pockets, will you? Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Tripwood? Uh, 
has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir, can't be done. Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. How did the Chuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid. The Chuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it spells. What happened to the spell that Chuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> hmm? Welcome, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. the deal with this thing. Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. treasure hunter's dream in here. Aye, matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmegend. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah, you were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. Ooh. Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Hmm. 
Hmm, it's surprisingly light. Murray? Whew, thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk! Ah! <sighs> You're still a punk. Splice the main brace! Another bag of gold! I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. Old Creepy Bones left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. Great. Now, what am I thirsty for? Mmm, cool, refreshing grog on the go for when you need that extra something to face your day. Like, uh, Franklin. Hey, boy, you look hungry. Want a bone? Here you go, boy. Oh, poor thing. You should probably come with me. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay, boy, dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. Hey, where you going? Bad dead dog. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <laughs> hmm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it, once I figure out how to get back to it. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfick Nugan. That's not my ne- Hey! That smells like him!
LeChuck's treasure. Way to go, Franklin, you salty dog. Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a dump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? Welcome back, friend. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking, but I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is. Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Why, I don't see anything over here. Are you sure you meant behind me? Okay, boy. Do your thing. Maybe if I try squinting. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for just a little bit longer. Yoink. But then I'm turning around. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you've got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. Till next time, friend. Yep. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. Okay, boy. Do your thing. Gotcha. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? And a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone. Hey, Caleb? Hello? Huh. 
Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Something to find your way. Check. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Good dog. Anchors away. Check. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right! Hey, I be talking to you. No, I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? What? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a whip-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably going to need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed! Fight me! Fight me! Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here, then. Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey! LeChuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. LeChuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I died a failure. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. I bet people say that about you all the time. Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Believe me, you're all woman. I'm useless. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight. See? In some ways you are stronger than me. You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some press spray. Wow! I didn't think that you had it in your ass. 
Now my head and I can move on and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Hey, you. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Hey, Mo, I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I... I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! That's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you did that to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look. I let you catch me and I played along with your stupid nice guy act because I thought that it would get Guybrush to realize that the voodoo Do lady Do not was... mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! Here. Guy 
paintbrush? I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost! I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves. This is my moment of ultimate triumph. So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? You won't get away with this, LeChuck. Whatever it is you're doing, I've opened the crossroads themselves to stop you. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Uh. So you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. Boy, was my face red when La Esponja Grande turned out to be so small. But then, you took right care of that, didn't you? <laughs> the voodoo lady said... The voodoo lady? By the way, does anyone know if she has a name? It feels weird just calling her voodoo lady. But I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? And we shall slay her together. Make me your demon bride. What? My demon bride. Kind of gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood. The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of. And besides, you're dead now. Well, so is he. I'm sorry, Guybrush. Bunny. No! <laughs> the rain is mine! And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me! Give it your best stab! wedding on an entire island to... Aha! Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a flesh respecter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. I was going to use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Freepwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now you are about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer. Uh, Lady Boo, let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this! <laughs> Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... she stabbed me. What? Elaine, she's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon Bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're going to take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? 
Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the seven seas. But what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on Elaine. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait... That sounds kind of familiar. The Voodoo Lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan! Thanks. What are you doing over here? Standing, mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroads should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life. And all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and LeChuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. Threepwood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. This is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty LeChuck fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship. And then, he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... Oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? Man overboard! Good heavens, sir. I think that's what's left of Dukava's ship. The Voodoo Lady's locket! It's stuck up there in that seaweed! But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. Hello? Swim away! 
I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Guy brush? Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Wait, Winslow? That salty dog. Despite our taxonomic differences, Winslow understands me. Huh. I wonder how that works, um, logistically. But now I'll never see him again. You and Winslow are you and Winslow? I'd never assume he would have me as his life partner, but we have shared our love. Whoa, too much information. And now I'll never see him again. Would you come out for Winslow? I would venture out of the safety for a mere sign of my dear Reginald. A mere sign? A mer sign, perhaps? Huh? I'll go see what I can do. I'll be back later. Be careful! Up we go! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Anepalmy is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My skill clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. That's right. Ask Anemone to swim to me. Swim to me, my sweetheart! Well, the problem is LeChuck. Anemone's terrified and hiding out until all of this pirate apocalypse mongering blows over. How tragic. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your... Um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem! A haiku, even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Are you still in there, an enemy? As long as LaChuck is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. It's a love note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for our reunion. Mizzens! I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Winslow, the locket isn't a sign for Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, 
most important, then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? Let this locket lead you back to your body, the way our map has led us to adventure! I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. Hmm. Ooh. I don't remember my body being this cold. Hey! Ah! Great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, chop its head off! What? Wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. If the ladies come calling, I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. It's a diary. Dear diary, well, I am in jail. Apparently I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride them all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm, what else is in here? Dear Diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the tongue. Ew, I think I've read enough. Uh-oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Uh-oh. Hey! What happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary? That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. Treepwood, what have you done? Ah! Talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, Lechuk is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body, so they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. 
Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use Lechak's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaflu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was in prison back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember... Spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh, I hope this is just a phase she's going through. How'd my body get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. Perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... befriended a person who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you, don't slime up the place while I'm gone. Just leave him there until he cools off.
Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! I surrender! You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you! Bug Eye! We're neighbors! Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. All right, all right. I'll keep it down. Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! No new taxes! Down with porcelain! Hey, lay off the banging or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole! Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, this just isn't the same. Uh-oh, I feel a depossession coming on. Hey, look at that! A gaping round hole in the wall. The voodoo lady must have escaped through this. Convenient. Uh-oh. Welcome back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Certainly, sir. I'm back. Shh! I be trying to concentrate here. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe. Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Scary! You just screwed up my concentration! Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! I surrender! 
You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you! Let's see how spirit gum reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories. Oh. Hey, now this is delicious. And tingly. And... Hey, keep it down over there. Whoa. Now that is spirit gum. All right, corpsey body. Let's go get that cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down LeChuck once and for all. Hey, don't you leave me here. Come on, at least give me some gum. Ha-ha! I'm back, LeChuck. Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched. To death! Sharp, pointy death. Finally! Ouch! How piece you that stings! <laughs> Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already married to... death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Elaine, my dear, please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Elaine! Sweetie, stop! It's me! What? Good news, sir! I found the map! Mr. Winslow! How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. Now that I could have ever been as a lowly governor or a pitiful pirate. Stupid sponge. I liked you better when you were smaller. Smaller? I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead. Give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> Listen up, Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, Carnivorous Wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. 
block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word, a sound so petite it is barely heard, a light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive, a delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Old Brute, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Up we go! Tree board. Whoa, Nelly! The spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. Ah, you can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. All right, I can't keep wasting time. Elaine isn't getting any less demonic. The sponge, Guybrush. If you can find a way to return it to its small, immature state, LeChuck's hold on Elaine will be lifted. Yeah, well, that's about all the dead waterfowl combo I can handle. As you wish. Yuck. A feather. A tiny touch. Gross. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah! Stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. Hmm. 
This looks as good a spot as any. Yikes! Flying sand fleas! So this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny annoying golden mosquitoes. Sorry guys, I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Welcome back, friend. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Hey, what's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm, normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Ho oh, ho ho, that rock rib! Always good for a laugh! Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. A towel, sir. Thanks. Back in my regular digs. Only slightly worse for wear, considering.
Wait, wait a minute. Some of my stuff is gone. That two-bit thief robbed me. Pretty smoothly, too. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Here you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Uh-oh. I hope that's not indigestion. Don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guybrush, how? The voodoo lady, she brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hit him with the old backward sea slab! Ah, enough of this! This be going on far too long! Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn-out, tattered socks, and... Uh... That's my Laney Poo! You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. Whoa! A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? Look out! Ah! 
I'll be back for you, lass. Lachuk! <laughs> Think of all the times you've tried to destroy me. Ah, uh, <laughs> to be fair. <clears throat> Ow. All that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Threepwood! Guybrush! <sighs> I always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Threepwood! Mighty Pi- Ooh! Whoa! Ow! Plunder Bunny! Pickaroonie! Uh, a little help here? I'm on it, Sweetie. <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Ugh. <laughs> Enjoy our little swim. <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. I'm gonna try to lure the Chuck into the crossroads again. So if he kills me again, you've got this covered, right? No problem, babe. It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. But Chuck, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine, you've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll, you've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. Elaine! <laughs> 
sweetie. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Huh. It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Try to fly away, little peepwood. Ah, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom. It will be just big enough for me to hide in. You know what's so great about this? Ah! We're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my shit. Elaine! A no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swat the deck. Seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Oh! Guy brush. Oh my God! You look terrible. Uh, the Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. Two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Kybrush, <sighs> what are you doing? It's the only way. What? Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ah, clever. What a rush! Hey, my hand is back! Oh. Guy Rush! Oh, it's about time! It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me. You should know enough to trust me by now, Guy Brush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. That's my plunder bunny. Well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? 
but we've all been saying it's bon job. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're going to get her for that. So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs>